Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Uh, would you care to stay for a meal? How time flies. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> How did you put it? Ah, oh, yes. Taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Now that even Master Diluc has made an offer, are you quite sure you won't stay for a meal after coming all this way, Master Kaya? I couldn't possibly, Adeland. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, don't say that. How often do I get a chance to indulge my dear Master Kaya, hmm? Tea for the cavalry captain when you visit in an official capacity doesn't count. I only get to spoil you if you let me cook for you. Oh, uh... Well then, what happened to your swagger? Lost for words? <laughs> Diluc, you... Surely you wouldn't dream of disappointing Adeland. All right then. I'll take you up on the offer. Adeland, one more set of cutlery, please, if you'd be so kind. Ooh, Paimon's so full. Adeland's cooking's amazing. Everything looked and tasted so beautiful. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join again anytime. Oh? Then I may have to tag along on the Traveler's Adventures more often in the future. Ugh, Kai is back to his usual ways. All right, now that our task is complete and our bellies are full, it's time for me to get back to work. Take care, Master Kaya. Have a safe trip back. We should get going as well. Lisa's taking care of Razor, but the Vineries of Fest can't do without us. See you next time, Master D. Luke. Indeed. Goodbye. Family, huh? <sighs> Don't mind me. You should probably head back and get some rest. I'm not the most familiar with Razor, but you can contact me if you ever need help. It's been a long time since I saw Masters Diluc and Kaya sharing a meal together. The atmosphere was... Ahem... <clears throat> was not something that a maid of my lowly stature should be commenting on. Thank you so much for visiting. I hope to see you again soon.